Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. As always, my name is Jay, and in the studio joining me today is a special guest. Why don't you say hello? Hello, my name is Mycroft. The two of us will be reviewing OpenSUSE 15.3 in today's video. Back in April, I took a look at the beta release of 15.3, and even though I ran into a few issues, I came away impressed, and I was looking forward to reviewing the final version once it came out, and now that it's out, it's time to review it. And there will be links in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. What he said. OpenSUSE is one of those distributions that is celebrated in the Linux community. A lot of people love it. It has a very passionate fan base, and I can't wait to check it out. I run Arch, by the way. No, you do not. You are the most Debian robot I have ever met in my entire life. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out OpenSUSE Leap version 15.3 and give it a full review. First of all, Let's talk about the installation process. When I checked out the beta of OpenSUSE 15.3, I had some trouble with the installer. On my high DPI display, it was very hard to read anything on the screen because the fonts were extremely tiny. I also noticed the same problem on Tumbleweed as well, which is where the footage you are seeing right now is from. But when I installed the final version of OpenSUSE Leap version 15.3, I didn't even have an issue here. They must have fixed it. The installer is very easy to read, and each component is appropriately sized. And I really like the fact that during the installation process, you are prompted for which desktop environment you want to install. And that kind of brings me back to the olden days when you basically had only one installation medium, didn't have multiple spins for multiple desktop environments. You just selected the one you want, and then you're good to go. Plasma is available, as is GNOME and XFCE. And that's right. We have several desktop environments that we can choose from when we install OpenSUSE 15.3, which is awesome. Plasma has long been considered the default desktop environment for OpenSUSE for quite some time now. And each of the choices for your desktop environment are perfectly valid. So what's your favorite desktop environment? I don't need a desktop environment. Command line for the win. Okay, so he's one of those people. Got it. Another thing that I noticed during the installation process was that the installer warned me about the Nuvo driver, that it apparently has compatibility issues with the Plasma desktop, but I didn't really notice any issues on my end though. Now, the thing is, it is true that some applications might require the proprietary NVIDIA driver, if that's the type of GPU that you have, so you might want to consider installing the proprietary driver if that applies to you. But I really like the fact that they're warning you about this though, most distributions just don't do that. Now, when I installed the final release of Leap 15.3, I ran into this weird issue where my screen was flashing constantly, making it very hard to see. And I had the same problem when I was checking out the beta as well. And while this was going on, the display was very hard to look at. And it wasn't just during the installation process either. I noticed the same problem after the installation was finished and I booted into the final installation. After testing it a little bit further, I noticed that this problem only seems to happen when I have an external display attached during boot. So if I plan to use an external display, everything is fine so long as I don't have it attached as I boot the computer. Rather than complain, you should submit a bug report. He's not wrong. After I uploaded that beta video though, I noticed that this problem isn't actually specific to OpenSUSE. When I reviewed other distributions after that one, I noticed that pretty much all new distributions are having this problem on my hardware, so OpenSUSE Leap, the beta version of 15.3, that just happened to be the first one I noticed the problem on, and I'm mentioning it here because, well, I mentioned it in the beta video, and I'm sure people are curious if I still have that problem. I do, but it is not an OpenSUSE issue. I bet the problem is probably something to do with the driver. So off camera, I'm going to need to look for an upstream bug report, probably for the Nuvo driver, to see if that's been reported already. The Plasma desktop was the first desktop environment I checked out with the final release. Out of the box, 
Leap 15.3 ships Plasma 5.18.6, and unfortunately, this is several versions behind. There's a bit of a renewed focus on stability in this release, which I'll talk about later, so Leap is not a distro where you'll expect to find the latest versions of everything. You'll probably want to use Tumbleweed for that. Back when I was checking out the beta, I noticed that the content of the screen in their implementation of Plasma was very hard to read. High DPI support was in a bad shape at that time. But in the final version, I can see that they've worked on it. I can now see everything clearly, though there are a few inconsistencies. One example is right here, the welcome screen. It has a very small font, and it doesn't match the rest of the desktop. In addition, the mouse cursor is very tiny by default, and the application launcher is so tall that it nearly touches the top of the screen. And not only that, the desktop icons, as you can see here, appear to be twice the size that they probably should be. But honestly, this isn't so bad. I could fix all of this manually since Plasma is highly configurable. I'm just glad I can read the screen out of the box. Having objects oversized is much better than not being able to read anything at all. The Plasma implementation, other than that, is pretty solid. And Plasma is the desktop that I would recommend that you choose if you're a fan of customizing your desktop. It has a great deal of options for tweaking pretty much everything the way you like it. You humans are such control freaks. He's not wrong, especially us Linux people. I also had a chance to test out the GNOME Edition as well, which has been my desktop of choice for quite a while now. And the implementation of GNOME in OpenSUSE Leap is fine. It hasn't been customized much beyond the wallpaper, so it's somewhat of a vanilla experience, and maybe that's what you want. It's starting to seem like distributions are customizing GNOME a bit too much, and it's getting harder to define what GNOME actually is as a result. One issue that I have here is that GNOME is about three major versions behind in Leap 15.3. I fully understand that Leap is more focused on stability nowadays, but having to lock software to really old versions is not required in order to maintain stability. I really wish that myth would go away. But you can always switch to Tumbleweed if you want newer software, so I don't really think that's a huge problem. And for me, when I last checked out Tumbleweed, it was plenty stable, so I don't have any hesitation recommending it. Overall, GNOME is what I prefer any time I go to install Leap. Not just because it's my desktop of choice. When it comes to OpenSUSE, it has the most consistent and appropriate sizing for screen elements, and the integration is pretty good too. In this release, there's not a whole lot to talk about when it comes to killer new features, but the developers, well, they worked on pretty much every component of the distribution, and the majority of the work seems to have gone into the fact that this distribution now uses the same compiled binaries as SUSE Enterprise. This means that you can easily migrate workloads from your laptop or desktop to SUSE Enterprise. He's right. So that basically means that you can work on solutions on your laptop or desktop on OpenSUSE Leap 15.3, and then you can migrate that workload over to SUSE Enterprise, and it'll work exactly the same. I think that's pretty awesome. And personally, I feel much more confident in a desktop distribution that bases their packages on an enterprise Linux distribution because, well, it just doesn't get any better than that. And the fact that they're basing the entire distribution on SUSE Enterprise is probably the reason why the packages are so old. Enterprise distributions generally stick to older software for a long time. A stable package base is important, especially for world domination. What? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Anyway, there's a lot of great things to say about OpenSUSE 15.3, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a few things too. But I think the OpenSUSE community would pick at my channel if I didn't at least mention Yast. Yast is quite possibly the greatest GUI configuration utility in the entire Linux community. Just about anything you could ever want to configure is featured in Yast. You can add virtualization support, add users, configure authentication backends, you name it. It's awesome. So you're telling me that a desktop environment isn't enough? You humans need graphical customization utilities as well? Well, actually, Yast is a tool that you can use in a terminal window as well, 
So even robots with sketchy intentions should be pleased. So you could run Yast as root or with sudo in your SSH session, and you'll be able to utilize it without even needing a graphical user environment at all. And that's awesome because you can use the same utility on a desktop as well as a headless server. Overall, OpenSUSE Leap version 15.3 is a great distribution. I highly recommend it. Now, I don't like the fact that a lot of the software is extremely out of date, but that doesn't bother me so much because, well, we have Tumbleweed, and that's great. Tumbleweed is awesome. It's a rolling distribution, and it gives you all the latest and greatest software and packages straight out of the box. That's always updated. So if that's you, if that's something that you want, then I would recommend OpenSUSE Tumbleweed for you. But for anyone else, maybe someone that wants a stable desktop, something that's solid and built on enterprise packages, then I recommend OpenSUSE Leap version 15.3. And definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of this release. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. So, do you have any closing thoughts? Like and subscribe. What he said.